Hey, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this P design, which was designed by me. Uh, it's a very simple design, and we just went blurry. It's a super simple design, basically. It's just peas in a pod. Uh, I thought it was super cute, so I'm making a tutorial for it. Like I said, it's pretty basic. Um, this is very easy. Also, I made it so that way you have the option of only doing two peas if you only want to make two. Um, so I'll show you how to do both of these. It's pretty much the same thing. Just depends how many you do at the start, like how many, how long you make it, so it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I honestly don't have too much to say about this design. <laughs> I just think it's really cute. Um, so I haven't had a chance to do the face on these yet, but these have faces. And yeah, so you can do it with a face, without a face, however you want it. Uh, and actually, this design is actually not very band heavy because I did the band count. <laughs> and per P, it takes 35 bands. And then, so it just depends how many P you want, so P's you want. So for this one, it's 105 of the light green color for the all three P's. And then for this one, because it was only two, it's 70. So 35 per P. And you can make your P's different, um, like shades of green maybe. I think that would be cute. And then for the pod, which is the dark green, for this one it is 89, and then for this one it is 123, so, yeah. These guys are kind of flying out because this pod was crushed somewhere. But yeah, like I said, this is a super easy design, actually. Um, I already have one pea I made, but um, the only thing with these peas, though, is because they're kind of small, as you can see, it is a little tight when we're first making them, but other than that... It's really easy, and I feel like after I did the Cat Noir and Ladybug tutorials, I need to make a tutorial for something easy, because those were a lot of explaining, but I feel like today is going to be pretty easy. Um, so just get your bands, uh, the colors you're going to want for your peas. Um, today, for the pea colors, I'm going to be using the same color as these guys, so this light green, and then you're going to want a hook. I'm using my double-ended hook, but you can use any hook you have. And you're going to want something to mark your rows, so I'm going to be using a C-clip, if I could grab it. Oh, there we go, okay. So I'll be using a C-clip. And then you're going to want eyes, oops, eyes if you want to do eyes. Um, I hot glued the mouth on, so yeah, you can also give them cheeks. I just didn't like how it looked, so I just left them like this, but you could give them cheeks. Or you could just leave them with eyes, honestly. Them with eyes is kind of cute, like just eyes. What else was, what else, what else, what else? Um, you're gonna need a tiny bit of stuffing just to stuff the peas, not a lot. And you probably don't actually have to stuff the peas because they hold their shape pretty well, but I like putting like a tiny bit of stuffing. So I think that's everything. So I'm just gonna get started because um, this design is really simple. So I'm gonna show you how to make one pea and then you're gonna wanna make either um, two more if you want to do the three peas in the pod, or you can just make one more and do the two. Also, I feel like my lighting's a little bit funky. Hmm. Let me move my light a little bit. Okay. So you can do two peas, do three peas. It just depends on what you want, but I'm going to show you how to make one and then you'll just rewatch this bit or just follow the pattern in the description to make however many peas you want. So to start, I'm just picking up some bands. So to start, you're just going to wrap a band around your hook three times, so one, two, three, and then you're going to pull a band, um, we're doing a magic, uh, was it like a, a magic ring of four stitches, by the way, if you already know what I'm doing, but if not, just, just keep watching, um, but we're going to pull a band through everything on our hook, and then we'll put the back one over the front one, like that. Then we'll go back into the cat band. We'll pull a band through just the cat band, so not this last band. Put both ends back on. And then you're going to push this back loop over the front loop. Oops. So, like that. And then you'll push the loop from last time over as well. And we're going to do the exact same thing we just did two more times. So we have four stitches in the cat band total. Um, if you're confused at this, I do go over it more slowly in my Luma Grimmy Basics video, so you can check that out. But I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna finish going in. Once you have four stitches and you want to just check if you make sure you have four stitches, you can just count the loops. So this is one. I feel like, I don't know, hold up. 
I can't tell if, like, it looks kind of pixely, and I don't know why. Hmm. Weird. But, once, uh, where were we at? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just, like, totally blanked out. Um, so you're gonna want to make sure you have four loops, so you'll start by counting the one on your hook, so one, two, three, four. And this one might look like it's a loop, but it's not. As you can tell, it's the part of the band that we folded over, because you can see the rest of them. But once you've made sure you have four loops, you're gonna go, instead of going into the cap band, you're gonna go back. Well, not, you're gonna go into this first loop here, so just make sure it's the first loop. And you'll do the same thing, you'll pull a band through just the loop. Put the back one over the front one, and then put the loop from last time over as well. And we'll be putting a C-clip on this one. So now, what we are going to do is we are going to be increasing everything, and what that basically means is we're going to be putting two stitches in every single loop until we get back to the C-clip. So this one already has one in it, so we're going to go back in and do another one. So we just make another stitch. And then, once this one has two in it, we'll go to the next one. We'll do two, so we'll make one stitch. Then you go back into the other, the same loop and do another stitch. And that'll be an increase. And we're just gonna keep doing this all the way around. So you're just putting two stitches in every loop. Yep. I need to pick up more bands. Okay, I feel like my lighting is very funky today. I don't know why. Oh wait, we're increasing. I almost forgot to increase. Oops. Like that. And then once you get to the band that has the C-clip on it, we're just going to make a stitch and move it up. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I have you guys in my desk drawer and then it just like popped open. And I was like, eh, because I didn't want the camera to fall. Um, but after that last row, you should have eight loops. So if you can't, you should have eight. So you start always by counting the one on your hook. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now what we're going to be doing is we're just going to do two rows around this. So after each um, row, you should have eight. So we're just going to put one stitch in each loop until you get back to the C-clip. So we're just doing single stitches, basically, all the way around until you get back to the C-clip. So you just put one stitch in each loop. And I feel like this is fairly simple. Like I said, we do this for two rows. So this is the first row. And then once you get to the C-clip, you move it up. And then if you want, you can count back to make sure you have eight. So start by counting the one on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then, like I said, we have to do two rows of that. So we have to do one more. And I'm just picking up some more bands. Okay. So we'll just do the same thing again. We're just putting one stitch into every loop until we get back to the C-clip. And <laughs> if you follow other Looming Army tutorials, we're just doing single stitches all the way around. I don't know if I'm going fast today or if it's just because it's so small. We're almost there. And then once you get to the band that has a sequel on it, you're just going to make a stitch and move it up. And if you count around, you should still have eight, but I'm not going to count around because I know I have eight. Um, but basically what we just did was two rows normal, as I say, but basically just two rows of single stitches and yeah. But now you're going to want to stuff your pee if you want to stuff it. Um, I've never not stuffed a pee, but I assume it'll hold pretty well because it's not that big, like the shape. But I'm just going to stuff it so I have a tiny bit of cotton ball. 
I'm just gonna stick it in. You really don't need a lot because it's so small. Like that. And now we're gonna be closing it up. So we're just gonna do a de we're gonna be decreasing everything until it's closed. And I'm gonna show you what a decrease is, but if you want me to go more in depth of what a decrease is, like I said, my little Kirby's basics video. Um, also because it's gonna be kinda hard to see after I do the first one because it is so small. So what a decrease is, you're gonna go to the front part of the first loop, so the inner part, and then the back part of the next loop, and you'll just make a stitch. And like I said, we're decreasing everything, so every single stitch we do is gonna be a decrease, so front part of the first loop, back part of the next loop, make a stitch, and we just keep doing this. I know it's hard to see what I'm doing, but it's just so small. And at this point, whenever the C-cup starts getting in the way, you can just take it out, because we're literally decreasing everything until it's closed. I think on the next one, it's going to be it for me. So once I can't decrease, decrease anymore, I'm going to have the last decrease up on my hook. And instead of pulling it through just the decrease we put on our hook, I'm going to pull it through everything. And then push the back one over the front one and pull tight. And then we'll just pull the tail back into the P. Oops. There we go. Almost done. <laughs> So you just have to hide the tail. It's a little hard to hide the tail, but because it's so small, but if you just pull it around, it'll eventually be okay. Like that. And that is it. You have a pea. So like I said, you're going to want to make as many peas as you want to have in your pod. Um, I'm going to be doing three today, so I'm going to go make, while well, I have this pea, so I'm going to go make one more. Um, but you can only do two peas and have like a little small pod. It's whatever you want. But I'm going to go off camera to make the other peas I need. And I'll come back and show you how to do the pod. Okay, so I made enough. So I have three peas now. Oops, I thought be three peas. Um, I also just had a thought. I'm going to be using dark green today for the pea. As you can see, that suddenly appeared. But um, I think it would be cute if you did like peas in this like green color. And then did like... Um, like this color green pod, but I'm using dark green because I have too much dark green. So, I'm going to be showing you how to make this bigger pod, but it's basically the same thing to make the smaller pod. It just depends how we do the start, how many you do. And I'll be showing you about that right now. Give me a second. Okay. So, to make, basically to make the start of the pod, what we're going to do, after I grab some bands, I feel like my lighting is so off today and I don't know why. I tried to fix it. Um, the lighting in my room in the winter is like so nice, but in the summer it kind of gets worse. So I'm using my ring light, but like, I don't know. It just doesn't look the best quality. <laughs> but anyways. So anyways, to start we're going to double a band and then we're going to chain six onto this band if you're making the pod for three peas, if you're making the pod for two peas, you're only going to chain up four. But like I said, I'm doing the one for six peas, so I'm going to chain up, not six peas, for three peas. So I'm going to chain up six, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Eh? six <laughs> okay and then basically what we're going to do even if you're doing the two pod or the three pod is on the ends these loops are going to have five stitches I can't remember if it was four or five but these are going to have five stitches in them the ones on the ends and then every single one on the in the middle on each side it's going to have two so you'll see what I mean by that but of course we start with the one on the end because we start on the end so, you're going to pull a band through, and then you'll push the back one over the front one and make a stitch. And then you're going to go back in, and you're going to do three more stitches on this top one. So, one, two, 
and then three. I feel like my camera's being weird. Um, three. And then we're gonna go into each of these loops until we get to the other end, and we're just gonna put two. So, I'm gonna go into it. We're gonna do two stitches. So one, two. And we're gonna keep doing that all the way until we get to the end. And if you're doing the smaller pod, you're gonna do the same thing. So you're only gonna do two stitches in the the ones that basically aren't the cap band on the end. So you only do two, it's the same thing. Just you have less stitches to do because you only chained up um, four. So that's the only difference. You know, I was watching one of my tutorials back before because I was debating whether or not I should use my ring light because I don't know if it helps the lighting. And I didn't know you guys could hear the birds in the background. So if you hear any birds, I'm sorry. I don't I don't even live in like a spot that looks like we have a lot of birds, but there's some I don't know. I think the a bird made a nest in the tree by my brother's room, which is like right across from my room, so yeah. But like I said, we're just putting two in each of the chains until we get to the end. Um, I don't want anyone to be confused. Okay. So once you get to the end, that is the cat band, it should be looking something like this. So you should be have two in each of the chains. Well, each, I guess, half of a chain. And then once you get to the cat band, you're going to be putting five stitches in the, the, the cat band. So, one... And five. And then after this, oops. And all the way until we get to the end. So in all these chains, we're going to be doing two on this side now. And then once we get to this end one, we're actually going to do two as well. But yeah, basically in all of these, until you get to the end one, you're just going to do two stitches just like you did on the other side. And it's the exact same thing if you have a shorter pod. I just don't want anyone to be confused and trying to be as clear as possible. <laughs> I really feel like my lighting's whack. There's also like a bunch of um, like different settings on my light and I never know which one's the best. I'll try that one. I just think it's so weird that like the lighting's being weird because in my ladybug tutorial the lighting was worse because it was a cloudy day and somehow it looked better. I don't know. Like I said, so we just finished putting five in the cap band on the end and now we're gonna go into the next chain and we're just gonna do two. And we keep doing this until we get to the other end. So, just putting two chains, two loops in each chain, not two chains. Thank God the birds are really being noisy. I'm sorry if you can hear them. Oh, I'm just doing two in each. I don't really know what to talk about. My gosh, that bird. If you can hear it, if you can't hear it, I probably sound like insane, but he's really singing. Uh. Okay, and then once you get to the end, we did um, three stitches last time so we're gonna do two more so there's five in total in the end and then after we do these two more on the end oops so we did two so the way there's five total in this chain and you can check if you look at the back it's kind of easier to tell so there's one two three four five and this on the chains on the end and then two on each side on the chains in the middle but once you're done, you're gonna, instead of going into a chain, you're gonna go into the first, well, the next loop. It's not the first loop, but the next loop. You're gonna make a stitch on it and you're gonna be putting a C clip on this one. And then if you count around, you should have 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's kind of hard for me to count. I just lost count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 20, what? Hold up, I'm gonna go count real quick because I can't count. Okay, I was right. Oh, sorry, I started talking before I hit record. Um, I was right, so you should have 29 stitches. Um, if you're doing the smaller peapod, you should have 21 stitches. And basically, what we're gonna do every row after this is gonna get really repetitive, but we're going to be doing four rows, um, normal, just doing single stitches, so just putting one, um, stitch in every loop until you get back to the C-clip. And like I said, we do this for four rows to total, so I'm gonna stay on to do the first row with you, and then I'm gonna go off to do the other three rows. So like I said, we're just gonna be putting one stitch in every loop all the way around until we get back to the C-clip. And after this row, you should still be at 29. Like I said, we're just doing four rows normal, or like four rows of, I guess, single stitches. Whichever way you wanna think of it. And like I said, I'll be staying on to do the first one with you, and then I'll go off camera to do the other three because it's very repetitive and they take a second to do. I'm just trying to make sure I'm going through the right spot because it kind of feels like I'm going through too much. But yeah. I'm working on making a tutorial for the dinosaur, but... Honestly, after doing the Cat Noir and Ladybug tutorials, um, those were really hard to do because it was a lot of explaining on my part and they were very long. So I kind of just wanted to do a chill tutorial because the spikes on the dino are a little complicated. So, Well, they're not that very complicated. It's just like I better explain well and I kind of just wanted to make a chill tutorial for you guys. So I decided to do this one because it's a lot more chill. It's very easy and it looks cute. So, you know. I thought, why not just do this one, because it's easy. But yeah. I was surprised at how not band heavy it was, because I really thought it was more band heavy because of how big the shell looks, but I guess it's, like, open, so <laughs> it doesn't use that many bands. It just takes a second to go around. Like, I'm only halfway around right now. Ugh. Heard my mother sneeze. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I do not know what to talk about right now. I'm trying to think of anything. But I got nothing. Because, like, the only thing I've really been doing is I've been working on finally writing down some patterns so I can make some tutorials. Because um, it's going to be summer soon, so I know, like, everyone's going to be at school, and that way you guys have plenty of things to make. Even though I have plenty of tutorials already. But I don't know. I enjoy making tutorials. I'm almost there. It takes so long to go around, oh my god. Okay. Almost there. So once you get back to the C clip, which I'm almost at, we'll just move it up. So you just make a stitch and then move the C clip to the stitch. And then all we're going to be doing is we're going to do, what is it, three more rows around this for four total. Um, like I said, it does take a second to go around this, so I'm going to go off camera and do the other three rows and then I'll come back and show you how to finish up our piece. Okay, so after you did four rows, it should be looking something like this, about this big. Um, also, I don't remember if I said, but if you're doing the smaller pea pod, um, you still do four rows around. The only difference is how many you have around. So if you're doing the smaller pea pod, you would only have 21 around, and you should still have 21 around, and, but you still do four rows. So it's exactly the same. It's just the number of bands you have is different. But yeah, so you should still have 29. And after you finish doing all four rows, all we're going to do is we're going to go into the next loop. We're going to pull a band through everything on our hook. We're going to put the back one over the front one. And we're going to pull tight. So we're basically just tying it off. And then you can take the C clip out at this point. And then all you're going to want to do is you're going to tuck this tail down inside. Like, in the stitches. In the, uh, uh, you're going to like tuck it in the stitches of the 
pod so that way you can't see it. You don't have to tuck it too well because the peas sit in it, so it's like not a big deal, but... And that's it. And then you'll have a spot to put your peas and then you just stick them in. Um, and I'm going to show you how I did the faces real quick. So you can stop at this and just have peas in a pod. Um, but I like to give them faces because I think it looks cute. But like I said, you could stop here. But I'm going to show you how I do the faces on one of the peas. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your eyes. And you're going to pick a spot you want the eye to be. I really don't think you can use safety eyes for these because they're so small. So I have these tiny beads. And... But you can wrap a band around your hook four times and pull it onto a band and it'll be the same thing if you want to do it that way. And you'll just tie it in. And lately I haven't been tucking the tails in until I like where the eyes are. So we have one there. I'm going to put one like right here. So just pick a spot you think will be good for the eyes. Oh, ow, bad. Ow. <laughs> Oh man, it snapped. Uh. Okay. Let me redo it. Sometimes I get asked, how do you do, like, put bands on beads? And I learned this from Feeling Spiffy. Basically, you get a piece of floss. I actually use dental floss because I find it, it doesn't fray as much as other strings. So you just get a piece of dental floss. Then you thread it back through the bead. Ta-da. I go, I think I do that in my Little Girl Basics video too, in case you don't know how. But I think Filling Spiffy shows it at the start of all of her videos, but she uses a wire. Um, I've always just used dental floss, it works nice. Eep. Okay, didn't snap that time. But then you would just hide the tails, and like I said, it is a little hard to hide the tails because of how small this is, but it's not too bad. Just pull it around, oop, dropped them. Just hide the tails. Oh my god. Yeah, there we go. Like that. And you can leave them as just eyes. That's kind of cute. I think I overstuffed this pea. <laughs> you can really see the stuffing coming out. But I also think it's cute to put cheeks. And the way I like to do cheeks is I'll go in through a part of my pea where I want the cheek to be, usually right below the eye, like on the band right below the eye. And then I'll pull a band through. Put both ends back on my hook, push the back one over the front one, and instead of pulling it like really tight, you just kind of leave it loose and tuck the tail in. Um, this is the same way I do the cheeks for my star, if you've ever made that, or the heart. It's the exact same thing. And there's the cheek. You do it to the other side. So I usually go like right under where the eye is. Like whatever stitch is right underneath of that. Same thing. Put both ends back on your hook. And you'll just tuck the tail in. And you don't pull it super tight, you kind of leave it loose so that way it's chubbier. And you can leave them with just cheeks and put them in your pod, but I'm gonna be gluing mouths on later. Like I said, I glue them on with hot glue. If you want to see how I do that, I showed that in my little Kirby basics video as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for this tutorial. I'm going to be doing the rest of these peas' faces off camera because I got to do these guys and I got to do these guys. So it just makes sense for me to do it off camera so this tutorial isn't like ridiculously long. Um, but I hope your peas turned out okay. Uh, if you like this design, <laughs> any of my design, I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh my god. I had my COVID shot yesterday. Maybe, maybe my brain isn't 100% here, but it's fine. Um, if you like this video, well, what am I saying? <laughs> Subscribe if you want to see more designs from me. I'm always working on more things. Like I said, the dinosaur should be coming soon. Uh, this dinosaur, in case you haven't seen it, he should be coming very soon. He still only has two legs because I haven't done his other two. But he'll be coming very soon. Um, like I said, I'm always working on tutorials, so subscribe if you want to see when those come out. Um, but yeah, I think that is it for this video. Like I said, show me your peas on Instagram if you made them. I love seeing your guys, you guys make my designs. But yeah, I think that's it for this video, so bye.